Welcome, welcome back to what may actually be the last two episodes of Endless Space 2. Where we are going to be looking at uh, the Sophons. Uh, quick heads up, this key was provided to me by the Games Entertainment Network. In the idea of me let's playing and reviewing the game. So... The Sofons are going to be a two-episode series, like the Cravers before it, uh, simply because they don't have that much going on to them. They're interesting, but their gimmick is not really all that interesting at all. So, the Sofons are a curious, peace-loving race whose highest ideals are found in scientific knowledge and technological advancement. Keen to explore and understand the mysteries of the cosmos, they believe the universe is something to intellectually master. Although pacifist in outlook, and despite frail bodies not used to violence, Sophons can construct vessels of devastating offensive capability. So they're omni science, which means that uh, if they if, if nobody has the tech yet, they'll get a massive research boost do it so once you get ahead you're gonna stay ahead basically the idea the pathfinders they're fast travelers but they're feeble warriors they start with xenobiology rare earth bombs and start with pilgrims very neat so as I do a final check of my recording setup, here we go. We're going to do the same setup as we did for the Cravers game, because that seemed to work out pretty well. And we're going to start, and I'm going to be shutting up because of a introductionary video pretty soon. Have fun. They have always been first, the Sophons. First to split atoms, mine asteroids, and capture the energy of the sun. First too to crash their test rockets, trigger artificial earthquakes, and accidentally blow up their moon. Their great power has given them great irresponsibility. But through it, now, they're the first to create perfection. So yeah, the Sophons, the Kerbals of the Endless Space Universe. Think I'm kidding? They're not. I'm not. Right, so let's start off the game by going into a little of an exploration round. There we go. And we can start off the game immediately. Going to a colonize point. Very nice, actually. Small Terran. Oh, jizz. Created right the bat of first colony. That is pretty damn powerful. So, I am actually going to do a little bit of a different opening. Uh, oh, actually, that's fine. You get science from that thing, right? No. Okay. To work on our strengths, we are going to expand upon our strengths immediately by going for magnetic dose. That's very good. That we do need to get some like of this stuff, and we need to start working on some food and all that. 
Although I don't think I'm going to be working on this one. Working on this one instead. So, that's our science let up for now. So the, the goal of the Sofans is to stay ahead of everybody else when it comes to science. They're strangely cute. Right, let's take a quick look at this one. Two movement on all ships. Experience. What I want. One that does extra science. That's fine. That is okay. Very cool. Amoeba. Nice. I can't afford first contact. That sucks, monkey ball. But I can't afford it now. Hello. Right, well, guess we're stuck doing things of a discovery nature. There's one. This one should have one as well, right? Yeah. What a good idea. Running an empire is a large, complex, time-consuming operation. This has been the been an inconvenient truth since the dawn of Sophonity. Sophonity. Okay. One of the few drawbacks to living in a civilization as cosmo cosmopolitan, prosperous, and brilliant as ours, one always finds oneself straining for the next yawn-inducing thing. People to meet. Things to do, star system to conquer, it's enough to make one hang up once overboard. <laughs> one solution to this problem was posed by R.R. Nijden. Wow. The Proctor of Future Research at Roab University. Why not get some of the more stupider people to do it? Surely there is a sub sofon somewhere uh, who actually enjoys this endless drudgery. But the expensive and immediate ridicule she received was sufficient to change her tune. Why not? She then proposed... ...acabically. Just get an AI to do it then. The genius of this idea could not be understated. The movement gained immediate traction in the High Caucus. Budgets were allocated, the finest minds assigned to the project, and in a matter of months, the enhanced neuroflexible entity research Enver project was launched. Now, just a few short later, a few short years later, we are ready for the final touches. Time the bolts, raise your receptacles. Sofans with Enver. Finally, a golden age is upon us. Right, so what do we do? Gonna flex you dirty. Can get cell phones free move. Cool. And we can do this one. Use loose use and lose ships. Huh. Actually, this is probably gonna be the one I'm gonna pick. Oh, come on, I can't research that one. That sucks. I 
immediately get our research buildings out. I think that's an important thing to do. Oh, we can immediately actually colonize another one. Oh, really? Alright, I guess we gotta do that. You're almost there. A couple more turns. We're losing money currently. Which is unfortunate. Economy and trade. Minus four now. Good feeling we're getting a little bit of a boost. There you go. Now we're making money again. More science, useful. Pirates. Hmm. Retreat? Yeah. Is banned considering we have pirates about and nothing we can do about them. at least some stuff going in that respect Love the academy actually on this run. Looks to me to be very useful. Get normal party going. Overall, every business is almost done, which is going to be important. Because that will allow us to say, hey, I like you guys. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Scientists, yes.
Astro Finan. Yeah, they're cordial now. There's not a whole lot to talk about actually um, with the so funds. They're they're pretty run of the mill. I have to give it a name. In fact, they're so run of the mill that I honestly don't know what to do with them. Like, sure, you go and research. Colonize, research, colonize some more, and research some more. But that's all the cell phones really do. That's what we'll focus on, but, you know. Putting it out there, they could really use something unique about them. Something that was, is like, this is... Damn, this is just the Sofans. This is just the Sofans who do this. Sands, I don't really get that feeling with them. In my test games, it's just... Alright, they're the Sofans, sure. They're fun, I guess. It's just mostly waiting for stuff to finish. That's mainly what the cell phones are. Getting that research boost on almost everything you can get your hands on. And doing your research in such an order that you still have enough production, or in this case industry, and dust, to keep up with the endless march of science. Is it really that? That is the big challenge with the cell phones. Keeping your economy in such a shape and form that you can keep going. While just going forward and forward and forward. And on and on and on and on and on. Alright, pretty cool. Gonna get a little bit of a, uh, a boost of production here. Good. There, there you go. Only one turn to do it. Crazy. Colonizational efforts. Go. More science. Look at that. This is a relatively big world as well. So there you go. Nice. Our pilgrims. Let's take a look at the pilgrims, shall we? There we go. Weren't they a species you could play in in Endless Space 1? I think so. Science. The 
the final frontier. I am actually gonna go for specialization along the lines of dust. I can keep that push going forward. More dust equals more stuff equals a lot more fun things equals 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 more and more and more and more and more. One more turn of praising. Very nice. There you go. Ooh, new event. Hear my last cry. I will go for the random tech. One of the problems with having so fonts in your empire is that the little eggheads seem to have a particular genius for goofing off. <laughs> Hardly a week goes by without news of neural hopped so fond youngsters rampaging through town. Or explosions of an increasingly exotic color and <laughs> smells bombarding your residential areas. That's awesome. For the next 10 turns, build only science in focused improvements. Oh, that's gonna be rough. They don't have any anymore. How does that any even work? Like, do I tear down a building and rebuild it? <laughs> like, it wouldn't take 10 turns to build this magnetic field generator. Oh man, but it could actually be worth picking that up. I wonder how that would work. An event like that. Because you don't just, just stop producing anything of that sort. Ooh, maybe I can. There we go. That might be a thing. Four turns, right? Maybe I could cheat the system a little bit by having it running until the last possible moment. Last turn. With seven left on that. That will make it eight. Nine. Right? Ten. Was that a success? Objective failed. No. Shit. Or for try, right? Perfect try. Crap. 
Yeah, I cannot afford to not pick science. Yay, the no part of me. That will reevaluate. Another empire has picked that up, that's fine. Very good. Yes, thank you. Sometimes a game doesn't quite do what you expect it to do. Big shock. Gonna be pushing out two colony ships. Oh, no. This one. Yes, thank you. Incubator. Eight. Go. Go forth in science. Official support, yes, because I like the science. Come on, make me able to continue, please. Thank you. Pop. Increased migration. And yeah, sure. Bump that one out quicker. Okay. Let's reevaluate. Push out one of those, because those are going to be useful. Uh, another happiness building could be useful indeed. Um. Oh. That is going to be useful. These and these ones, sure. Um. Pick up some of those. Oh, nice. Not quite what I was hoping for, but close enough. Food specialization. Yes, I will build you and then you and go into that and go into that. People don't really need to seem to be getting a nudge when it comes to growing. So that's what I'm going to be 
not spending this much on. And a cool planet. That's actually kind of awesome. Yes, I know, I just spend a crap ton of stuff on that. But there is something that should pretty soon stop being a prevalent thing. It was an event, I think. In any case. Let's upgrade you. Let's focus you around that one so we can unlock the rest. And then... Do I focus on... You. And colonized. Nice. Get you up the road. Get you on the road. Initial focus with this one will be split around at those reasons. Thank you. Okay. Can I last three turns? Maybe. Huh. Heavily damaged ship. Science. Ooh, well, just last. Galactic Commodities Exchange, nice, thank you. I don't think I'll be able to do this one. Because I don't know where the hell it is, for one. Uh, if I had a military fleet, yeah, maybe. Oh, I just made it. And that one now stopped. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Okay, that was just, just, just in the nick of time. But I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. All right, pretty cool. I don't have any military units because I'm con completely focused on getting that science up. But I don't actually know. What? Oh, wait, yeah, my people need to be happy first. Before they can actually make use of uh, the extra stuff. Which makes sense, actually. Uh, you would actually be a good one for that, a trade company sub that being said HQ is not able to trace anything yet oh there's that you you're only getting a manpower boost I don't really care about the manpower one not really all that interesting I haven't met anyone yet oh there we go See if we can find one that does science.
There is actually. Blue cap mold. Right oh. No, let's not build that one here. Sometimes the UI still doesn't quite feel very responsive, which is a bit too bad. But nothing that can be helped, but it's just a bit iffy. Rest spies. Gives me a straight boost, so why the hell not? This is gonna be super useful. I think after this I need to invest a little bit in some ship classes and some actual weapon tech. We'll go into that after this stuff's done. Um, I would say Kilo, and then the Kilo upgrade, then the Giga, great, welcome, Giga, and then go into lasers. We like lasery things and some defenses. Sounds pretty good, actually. Can be built once. Can only be built once. You know that one can be built. How many times we won? I will reluctantly. You are done. Very nice. You are cold. So well, let's do that, shall we? And after that, it's the normal thing. So, pop, 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 pop. Here we go. Very nice. Because he's a cold world. I'll actually do the upgrade. Because it adds. Go, plus one and plus one cold. When it's cold. Very, very cold. Freezing. Change you as well, because you're also cold. Look any more cold worlds? Temperate. after this one. Yep. Sounds good. Can't wait to colonize these two as well. It's gonna be one giant hub of science. It's gonna be very nice. Ooh, ion torpedoes. Very nice. Of course, we go for science, because we're a science-oriented bunch. Somebody sent me something. I got the giant plum plum. So I have this app, which gives me, like, the news. And I've said it, that I don't want to receive all the, like... Super awful pop-ups in the world, but it's still giving me all those super awful pop-ups in the world. 
I, I really don't know why, because I haven't asked for it. Didn't ask for this. But, you know. An app. Does what it wants, end of the day. Let's see, we have some coin. So we go to the marketplace for luxuries, and if I go for that. Cool. Buy him. Yay! More science! Good. Come on. User interface will work with me here. Thank you very much. That is good. That gives us a total of 400 and something science on this world now, which is, um, is brilliant. Kidding, that's actually pretty bright. Six turns. Maybe I'm on time, maybe not. You guys happy yet? Yeah, you're static. Nice. Buy another five blue caps. These individuals. Still doesn't grasp what I wanted to grasp, but getting closer. Sometimes it catches up on what you do, sometimes it doesn't quite do that. And in some respects, it's a tiny bit annoying. Can't be helped. Shit. Too bad, I was just too late. Of actually activating it, but that's fine. That is just fine. Are we working on the... Yes, we are working on the military attack at this point. Alright, that's good. That's very good, actually. We're happy enough already. Don't really care about that. Who care about that? That's really helpful in the long run. Because we did t learn that lesson the very first Let's Play we did. Get absolutely smashed. Already doing 1.2k science a month, which is nuts. Need to keep on pushing that forward, though. With that, we're done. And actually, we could go for a science victory already. <laughs> genius of the uh, genius of the endless is what you need. Then again, you need to also research this one, and you need to research that one. You need to research all four of them in order to succeed. But you know, it's a matter of Playing a little bit of catch up, which we can easily do. And yes, I know you should be a little bit more specific of what you build on what planet and what you don't. But I really never had any incentive to not just mass build stuff. Like, everywhere. Huh. 
Very cool. It's gonna pay its back. It's gonna pay itself forward eventually. Yeah, like fifty-one. Pretty nuts. Ooh, finally, we can pick one up. Um... You. Center system, which is the second most. Thank you. Perfect. They must have given us quite a boost. Yeah. I like. New trade company created. Bullets HQ somewhere. I will. Probably here. Actually, I'm not sh sure. Oh, wait. Actually. Colonization is almost done. Brilliant. Need to grow. I think this is a hot world. Yes, it is. Do we have anything that's hot? Going to sterile. Here we go. Perfect. Perfection. Arrow leveled up. In any case, we're running a little bit over time, a little more than I wanted. Um, so we'll be seeing you next episode. We'll be looking at a little further into the Sofons. And that will probably wrap up Endless Space for now, until, they've re until they release another species or another whatever the hell. If they introduce major elements, I will probably make a series about it. So there you go. In any case, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of the Sofons. Bye-bye.